Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to get the proper PC gaming experience when you're playing Dark Souls 3. So in other words, what I'm really going to do in this video is show you how to run the game at a higher frame rate and refresh rate, enable support for G-Sync and ultra-wide monitors, and also tweak the default field of view depending on your aspect ratio. So in order to do that, we're going to be using a mod called the Proper PC Experience, which really does the following. It forces the game to use your monitor's highest refresh rate instead of the default of 60 hertz. It also increases the frame rate from the cap of 60 fps to 120, and that's mainly just to avoid any physics glitches that might be associated with running the game at a higher frame rate. It also enables support for G-Sync or FreeSync, which as a result makes the game smoother due to the high refresh rate and frame rate. It also adds support for monitors with ultra-wide resolutions without relying on a third-party tool, and then finally increases the default field of view depending on your aspect ratio. So for example, if you've got a 16.9 monitor, then you're now going to have an FFV view of 25 degrees. And kind of a little bonus at the end, the mod also skips the game's loading intro, which I suppose is a nice quality of life improvement. So when it comes to installing this mod, it couldn't be simpler. All you need to do is on the mod project page, go to the files tab, and then under the main files, you want to click on the option here where it says manual download. So next we need to extract the archive we just downloaded. And as you can see inside, there's just a single file, the d3d11.dll. And really all we need to do is take a copy of this and then paste it into the game's installation path. Which for most people is probably going to be something along the lines of Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dark Souls 3, and then the subfolder of game. So once this file's been pasted, then the mod will be now installed, and it's going to be applied the next time that we run the game. If you ever want to uninstall this mod in the future, then just simply delete the file. So in terms of compatibility with other Dark Souls 3 mods, with the exception of Souls and Squeezed, then you'll find it should be compatible, and that includes popular mods such as Cinders, The Convergence, the Dark Souls 3 mod engine, or even external tools such as Reshade. Although that being said, it is recommended not to use this mod online unless you want to risk a ban. So unfortunately, if you like the idea of co-op or PVP, then you're going to be out of luck using this mod. Okay, so let's quickly jump into some quick gameplay so we can see the mod in action.
Aha, unkindled, are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer, a crow in his cage, as you see. But here we are, an encounter for the ages. <laughs> I care to learn some pyromancy. Ah, most wise to read. <laughs> So, in conclusion, you now know how to improve the PC experience of running Dark Souls 3 by adding support for same defaults in 2024. As always, thank you very much for watching this video today, and if you found the video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and also click that subscribe button, just so you can see more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye now!